All right, Shalom. Before I get started in this lesson, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, teach well, and sound doctrine that told me this truth, uh, who still teach me this truth, and peace and blessings and safety to the elect of the nation of Israel. Let me check this live stream. And um, I don't know if this is going to be long unless the spirit jump on me to make it long, but I just wanted to cover this topic here. Uh, the title of the lesson is France. France shuts its borders for all travel to non-UE or it's like a non-EU uh, nations, which the the EU is short for uh, European Econ Economic Committee, if I'm not mistaken, or also known as the European Union, okay, which is, is the Ten Horns. The European Union is the Ten Horns spoken about in the book of Revelation. And um, so this is um, prophecy in many ways, one being a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able Another being, uh, there shall be pestilences, okay, dealing with this, uh, uh, you know, uh, the CV, the CV, uh, CV album. <laughs> it says, uh, France shuts, this is rtnews.com. Um, this article was published, let me get that, January 29th, 2021, which is today. It says France shuts borders to all travel in all caps to and from non EU countries and push to con to control what you see on the screen. So it says they're, they're shutting down travel, they're shutting down the borders, nobody coming in and nobody coming out unless you're a part of these European Union nations. OK, now the scriptures say in the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter that America's allies are going to hate her. It says that the beast shall hate the whore. Okay, and when I saw this article, it popped up on my YouTube timeline. When I saw that, that was the first scripture that came to my mind. So let's go there, Revelation. Because ultimately, who has the worst uh, 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 CV numbers? Babylon. <laughs> Babylon. It started in China, supposedly. But America supposedly has the worst numbers, you know. And these people who kill me talking about the mask, the mask, the mask. But yet they've been telling us to wear masks from the beginning, right? And the numbers have been climbing and climbing and climbing from the beginning. So is the mask really working? Or is this shit just a fucking fluke? Is it just a hoax? Is it just a sham, a scam? Now, obviously the mask ain't working. All you got, China, people over there in China, they back to normal, you know. But all they talk, they talking about this mass, mass, mass madness. And then even when you get the, the uh, you know, the medication, you still got to wear the mask. It's all, it's all a joke, man. It's all a joke. But uh, Revelation 17 and 15, and these, and these Americans, it's too stupid to see it. It says, Revelation 17, 15, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, the whore is America, okay, because this place is abominable, all right, full of uh, 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 all type of um, abominable acts, abominable philosophies, okay? You can commit all type of spiritual whoredom here. It says, and, and there's, and there's um, literal whores here. It says, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So oftentimes when the scriptures speak about waters, it represents people. And it talks about the sea and, uh, and and it talks about, um you know, these various things dealing with water. Sometimes it's talking about nations, multitudes, peoples and tongues. In this case, that's what John was seeing. He was seeing America and, and the mixed multitude of people that are here. This is called a melting pot for a reason. It says verse 17. I mean, verse 16, Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns, which is the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore 
and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So these countries, these European uh, Union countries are going to turn on America. OK, and they're going to shoot missiles at America. They're going to burn her with fire. All right. Let's go to that word hate. It said that the beast shall hate the whore. Oh, I just want to see what it say. It says to hate, pursue with hatred, detest, detested, hateful, especially to persecute. Right. See, because America is going to be blamed. Something is going to happen in, in international affairs and America is going to have to take the full blame for it. We see Joe Biden wants to um, re-enter into the uh, Iran nuclear deal. And Israel said that if, if Biden does that, they, they're not going to be too happy. And, and there's rumors that if Biden does re-enter the nuclear deal, that Israel is going to attack Iran. Which ultimately, Israel cannot go to war without America going to war behind it. It says, verse 17, for the Most High have put it in their hearts. It's like it. Let me start back up because this is beautiful. It says uh, Revelation 17, 16, and the 10 horns, which thou sawest upon the beast, right? Because these nations are riding with America right now, but it's going to come a point in time where they, they're not going to be able to take all of America's BS. And, and the ties have been slowly turning over the, over the past uh, 15 to 20 years or so, you know, as far as these European countries detesting America, detesting American city. It started with the American people. You know, the American people will go over there. They look at you funny because you don't have any morals, any values. You don't understand. You know, you're so materialistic and you just think that you're better than everyone else. But anyway, it says, um, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For the heavenly father have put in their hearts to fulfill his will. You see? And to agree. <laughs> And give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So all these nations are ultimately doing the will of Yahweh uh, which reminds me of Ezekiel 38. The Lord's going to put it into the minds of these kings, uh, to the minds of the beast, to hate the whore. NATO and the EU, France, Germany, Greece. Let's go here at Ezekiel 38. I mean, yeah, Ezekiel 38. I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 7. Uh, is this is what I want. Verse. Uh, let's go straight to the point. Verse 10. It says, Thus say, if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Most High, also come to pass, that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think in evil thoughts. So these kings, when you read up, you're dealing with um Russia, Gog and Magog, which is Russia. Then you have uh, Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer, which is Turkey. All right, all of these nations are going to turn on America. Some of them are already against America. Majority of these nations are already against America. But these nations and these kings are all, their minds is all in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So that's why this is a precept. It says Ezekiel 38 and 10, thus saith the heavenly father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. It shall also come to pass that at that at the same time things shall come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Let's go to that word evil. And that evil thought is going to be you blow this bitch up. You see that the word evil is rye, rye. Let's go to that word thought. Makashaba. Makashaba. It says thought, device, thought, device, plan, purpose, invention, which uh, a nuclear missile is indeed an invention. All right. So these all these nations have these evil inventions. They are already thinking evil thoughts because they're creating these weapons. <laughs> it says device. These are some of the other um, synonyms, imaginations, plan, purpose, device. Oh, machine. Damn, that's a cut. A nuclear missile is a machine. It says, um, a contravance, a contravance. I don't know what that word mean. Uh, it says a, a plot, a plan, whether bad, a plot or good advice. So these, these nations are going to come up with a, um, a evil plan, an evil thought to use 
to further their evil thoughts. Because like I said, they're already thinking evil thoughts by even creating these missiles. Why would you create such a such a thing, man? Why would you create such a thing except you think evil thoughts? One day I'm going to have to use this, you know? I just want to be so powerful that I could destroy millions of people if I wanted to. That's the only thought you have to think to create a nuclear mess, uh, missile, man. It says uh, Ezekiel 38 and 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, which is America. The land of unwalled villages. Okay? It says... Um, it says... um. Let's go to Revelation 18 real quick. Because uh, the scriptures say, you know, this place, they they sit comfortably. You know, this is that um that that whore, she sits comfortably and she she basically at rest. Yeah, she, she has unwalled villages. She don't think she'll ever be touched. That's in Revelation 18, verse 7. It says, How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart. I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. So America, that's why they don't have, um, you know, walled villages. And, you know, I mean, America has a, a, a massive army. But as far as the mindset of these Americans, they don't believe that they'll ever be destroyed. It says, verse seven, how much she have glorified herself and live deliciously. And these people live deliciously. OK, these people live so well. And all they do is freaking complain. You know, my coworker, he he like an eater. My, he's like, man, my damn, my, uh, what do you say? My, 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 uh, my tub is broken. And when I take a shower, the water, it fills up to my ankles. When I take a shower, it, like he's, he was so infuriated with it. He was so in, infuriated with the fact that his tub fills up when he takes a shower. These are, these are called first world problems. <laughs> But these people, they live so deliciously, they understand that running water is a is a, a a a luxury, man. Lights is a luxury, man. Cars is a luxury. Majority, forget what you see on TV. The majority of the world don't have these things, man. But but again, Jake live in a box. They live in a bubble. That's why Jeremiah, let's go Jeremiah 2 real quick. Jeremiah 2 14. It says, Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Why are you spoiled, man? You know, why don't you know how to till the land? Why don't you know, you know, which plants are edible, which plants are not? Because you've been spoiled here in Babylon. You know, we could go deeper than that. Go, let's go to Revelation 12. You, you've been spoiled because your oppressor has, has nourished you, has taken care of you from the plantation, from, from the slave ship till now, man. He may show you how everything that you need so you wouldn't want to leave Massa. Revelation 12, 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, which is America, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. So you have been nourished here, man. You have been nourished by that serpent. Okay. Let's go to that word nourished real quick to see what it's saying. That's why. These people, like I said, they have these first world problems and they're and they're just uh you know they're they're ungrateful and you know just uh very closed minded. They don't understand life. That's why it's good if you can to travel, you know, especially to these other, you know, so called third world countries, these so called poor countries. But this is um it says it says in Ecclesiastes a man that have traveled know of many things. It says nourish. The word air is um I ain't gonna be able to pronounce it. Let's see if it'll speak. Strong's G fifty one forty two, Treffle. 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 It says to nourish, support, feed. Right. So the slaves, where did they get their clothes? Where did they get their food? Where did they get their shelter? Whether good or bad, where did they get it from? They got it from the face of the serpent. It says to nourish, to support. They were supported financially, physically, emotionally. After he whipped your back. He told you it's gonna be okay, nigga boy. Go get just going back out there getting the field. I'll give you some, you know, I'll feed you some crab later. Feed, get to give suck, fatten, bring up, nurture. Yeah, you was brought up, you was raised to be a nigger. You you was a nigger was created on a plantation, like the elders always say. Okay. That this is not a, a natural state of mind that our people are in. But anyway, let's go back to the topic. 
The topic is that these Americans have lived deliciously and they're and they're relaxed. That's why in Ezekiel 38, it called this place the village, the city of unwalled villages, because these people are, you know, like I said, they don't believe that they're going to be taken down. Like the scriptures say, Revelation 18 and 7, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. How is that going to happen? The beast shall hate the whore. OK, that's one way. Then you're going to have Gog and Magog also. Persia, you know, Ethiopia, Libya, they're going to play a part somehow, some way, as the scriptures say. It says, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, who judge of her. Yeah, Khan. Let's go back to Ezekiel 38 real quick. Ezekiel 38 and 10. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, the Most High. It shall also come to pass that at that same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest that dwell safely all of them dwelling without walls and having their so like and having neither bars nor gates to take a spoil and to take a prey to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land right because america is a place of many nations so the lord is putting in these king's mind He's bringing these pestilences, these, these diseases, whether real, fake, or exaggerated, to fulfill his will. Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. So the same way you can't control where the rivers of water flow, whether they flow north to south or south to north, you can't control that. The Lord does. That That's the same way that you can't control the, the minds of these kings. All right. So you're going to have the beast. In various ways, hating the whore, okay? The ten horns is just dealing with the ten horns right now because of the CV. They don't want anybody coming in, anybody coming out. It says, Revelation 17, 16, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For the Heavenly Father have put it, have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, right? And to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High should be fulfilled. Right. So America's going to work with these ten horns until it's time for those relations to be destroyed. Let's go to the uh, second edges real quick, and then I'll probably close out. Like I said, this ain't got to be long. Second edges fifteen, and we're gonna go to verse. Uh, we're gonna start at uh seventeen. Let's go straight to the point. It says, a man shall desire, 2 Ezra 15, 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because you're going to have various travel bans. Okay. Okay, the elder, elder Diana. It says, contravance is anything created from either singular or group efforts or conceptions. <laughs> oh, that's fire. Yeah, because um the word for um evil thought, the word for thought, one of the synonyms was contravance, was is a um basically a group effort of an evil plan, a group effort, which is the ten horns, man. Yapa. It says a contravance is anything created from either singular or group efforts or conceptions, right? So that evil thought is gonna be a group effort. The group is the ten horns. And shalom, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim Kakadash Brakathat. Brakathum. Second Ezra 15, 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. And the main sword. Now, when we read this scripture, we say that the sword is the gun because that's the context. But the main sword is the missile. That's the main sword. All right. That's the main sword. And this and this, the missiles is being spoken about here too. These things is manifold. It says, 
for the sword and their destruction draw them nigh. What's the greatest destruction? The missiles. What's the greatest sword? The missiles. And one people shall stand up to fight against another, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and swords in their hands. These nations have these swords. The word hand goes back to the Hebrew word yad, which means power. These nations have those missiles within their power. You saw Kim Jong-un, he was flexing his. You see? And America is at the point where they're so hated uh they're so hated let's go to obadiah they're so hated that they can't flex their 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 muscles like these other na like north korea have a uh, you know war parades and china has war parades because america's they're so hated now if they do that these nations might you know it might actually piss them off to the point to pull the trigger so america has to just lay low you know claim that they have all these missiles and they have all these weapons of mass destruction and never show them who knows america might not have nothing <laughs> Hey, the Lord might, the Lord, the scriptures say, uh, I mean, we know they got some type of missiles, but they might not have a, these huge missiles like Russia and, and North Korea and Iran. The Lord, Lord said that have wisdom is no more. Let's go there. Uh, Obadiah verse uh, 8. It says, shall I not in that day, say if Yahweh Bashim Shah, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? And the understanding out of the Mount of Esau. So, hey, what are you shit? They might not have nothing really capable of uh, defending, defending themselves. And they're just bluffing. It says, Obadiah verse 1, the vision of Ibadiah, which is Obadiah, the vision of Ibadiah, thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Most High, concerning Adawam, which is Edom. We have heard a rumor from the, from your, so like, we have heard a rumor from the Lord. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, let, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. So America is greatly despised, man. You know, these nations hate her already. And now her, and it's going to come to the point where her allies are going to hate her. All right. It says, um. Nathan, which is I have made Nathan uh Kota Goa Goaya Despise Bataza Bataza Despise Bataza and let's see what it, the definition say. It says to despise, to hold in contempt. Disdain, regard with contempt, to be vile, worthless. Because it's gonna come a point in time, man, where they're gonna feel like their 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 uh you know their relations with America is isn't worth anything anymore. It, it'd be better, it'd be it'd be more profitable to destroy, to destroy her. The Lord's gonna put that evil thought in their mind. It says, think to scorn, vile person. So ultimately, that's how these other nations, these heathen nations that are said in Obadiah. An ambassador sent among the heathen, they're gonna rise up against her in battle. Let's keep going. Behold, I have made these small amongst the heathen. Yeah, they look down at America. When you're small, if I if some if you feel if, if somebody is small to you, meaning insignificant, you look down on them. You don't look up to them, you don't respect them, you don't value anything that they value. You look at them with disdain, with contempt. Like we look at these two thirds. It says verse three. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? You see? So this, this place, she said a widow. You know, she is at rest. You know? And that ultimately is going to be her de demise because the Lord, that's, that's ultimately a trap to them because they don't know that the Lord has set a trap. And that main trap, like I said, if they're, they're about to be backstabbed, well, if your best friend end up shooting you in the back, was you you wasn't expecting that? But that's what the Lord is about to do to America. See, America is going out in the worst way. You know, it's like if you're on a battlefield, you know, you expecting your fellow soldiers to help you. You fall, they're gonna, they're not gonna, no, no soldier left behind. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna carry you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you get shot in the leg. And then you know you like hey y'all you know y'all y'all carry me man help me help me don't leave me and then they look at you they say I'm sorry 
and they shoot your ass in the head <laughs> because they don't want to deal with you no more. They don't want to have to carry your 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 weight because you're bringing more trouble with other nations upon them. Then then just it would be easy to just destroy you, man. You know. It says a uh, Jeremiah fifty twenty four. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. Meaning you're you're caught up in the trap. You're in the trap of the Lord. The Lord has set a trap, and you're already in it. You're already being taken. You don't even know it. it it's just gonna manifest. Your 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 foot is already in there. The Lord just had to close the clamps. It says, "I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken." It's like if you they got some a hundred dollar bill on a string, it's blowing in the wind, and dude just chasing it. He thinking he thinking that he on his way to get that get that money. Meanwhile, you know it it floats all the way into the street, and wham, a truck bus come and smack him. That's that's America. They think that they're chasing success, chasing world domination, whatever else. You know, maybe they want world peace. Maybe they want to make everything good with these other nations. They're not gonna be able to achieve it. They're in a trap. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against Yahweh I was shot. You see, they're not even aware. It says, and you and thou was not aware. They have no idea that the beast is going to hate the whore. The word there is yada. I mean, you die. Ya da I. You die. You die. It says to know, to perceive, to admit, acknowledge, confess, distinguish. See, they can't distinguish it. Discern. See, they 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 don't know. They 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 can't they can't discern it. They're spiritually discerned. <laughs> They're the natural man. Okay, so it, even though it's written here, the prophets have been telling them, "Look, you're gonna be destroyed. America gonna be destroyed. Your nation, your allies gonna turn on you." Russia, Iran, they're gonna they're gonna bomb you. World War Three is gonna happen. They they can't discern it. The Lord has laid a snare and they are not aware. So therefore, verse 25, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, which is the missiles. For this is the work of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, the most high of hosts in the land of the Chaldees. Yeah, Khan. So the Lord is gonna open up his armory, which is an arm armory is um, let's just go to it. Basically, like a um, a case that holds weapons, man. It says the word there in the Hebrew is Awa Tazar, Awa Tazar, Awa Tazar, Armory, Awa Tazar. It says treasure, storehouse, store supplies of food and drink, magazine of weapons, figuratively of the Most High's armory. Storehouse. So this is a the Lord's magazine of weapons. It says an armory. Let's get the uh, Google definition. So the Lord is about to open his armory on these dudes, man. Armory definition. It says a place where weapons are kept. Right. So where is the Lord keeping them? Ask Iran. Ask North Korea. <laughs> where are they keeping them? Where is Russia keeping them? Hey, ask, ask Kim Jong Un, uh, Vladimir Putin. That's the Lord's armory. It's not It's not their armory. It's the Lord's armory. We read that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So the beast is going to hate the whore. All right? And like I said, in various ways. These are just beginning st stages. And really, we're we're about, you know, hey, we're, we're well within it, man. It, start, it started a long time ago as far as the beast hating the whore. You know? It started when Trump was in office. Slowly but surely, the will of the Lord is going to be done. That's why when you read Revelation 17 and 17, it says this. I'm going to close out Revelation 17, 16. And the ten horns, which is the EU, the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, which is America, Babylon the Great, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For the Heavenly Father have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, you see, and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the heavenly father should be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, which is America, Babylon and great. Brother said, uh, America enemies have not forgotten. Retribution is coming. Blood shall pursue thee. Come. 
Ezekiel 35, verse 6. Blood is going to assist thou is not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay? And like he said, America's uh, enemies have not forgotten. Japan has not forgotten Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You want to see something? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Atomic bombing. This was an atomic bomb. This wasn't a nuclear bomb. This is an atomic bomb. Atomic bomb is not as strong as a nuclear bomb. But it, but it's but it, it, it or should I say as strong as the modern day nuclear bombs? It says the two bombings killed between one hundred and twenty nine thousand people and two hundred and twenty six thousand people, most of whom were civilians, and remained the only use of nuclear weapons in armed conflict. So this is what this man did, man. You think they forgot? And these numbers is not accurate. You think they forgot that over 300,000 people was killed when they dropped two bombs on cities? They dropped two bombs on two cities. Imagine, uh, you know, imagine um, somebody dropping a bomb on Cleveland, you know, and somebody dropping a bomb on Cincinnati. And everybody in that entire city is gone. You think they forgot? Come on, man. Come on, man. It says the two bombings. Let's, let's start up a little bit. It says the United States detonated two nuclear weapons over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6th. Right. Of course, it has to had to be the 6th and the 9th. Right. The upside down 6th. Of course, it had to be those dates. It says 1945, respectively. How? Respectively. <laughs> oh, really? respectively three days apart respectively they gave them three days apart they gave them a three-day warning or a three-day wait to surrender and they didn't surrender by the third day so they did it again respectively <laughs> according to esau it says the two bombings killed between 129,000 and 226,000 people and most of whom were civilians and remained the only use of nuclear weapons amid amid a uh, like nuclear weapons in armed conflict so hey this is what America is going to pay for it, man. That's why Russia got uh, Satan 1 and Satan 2, you know? But anyway, before I go into another topic, Lord willing, edifying one, give all praise, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Racha Kodash, the water Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Kaya Racha Kodash, which means for the Holy Spirit to bring out another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Kwame Asharala, Shalom. Ababa Ball.